G'day everyone, Viv here. I hope you're keeping well. Welcome back. My daughter Charlotte <laughs> is joining us today because I'm talking about painting, miniature painting. And one of the questions I get quite often is what are these painting pegs? Um, where, do you, where do you get them from and what do you use them for? Um, they're very simply, you know, just little stands to pop miniatures on. They've got a magnet in the bottom of them. So, um, you know, it's just 30 mil pieces of down. I bought a three meter length of it, cut it up into nine centimeter sections, 90 mil, you know, drilled out a hole in the bottom and uh, put in a, uh, a 10 mil magnet. And that, that way, you know, these little steel sheets that I've got, these ones, bought a big sheet of it from Bunnings here and just cut it up into uh, sections with my angle grinder. It's one millimeter steel and I have them normally on the table here, two at a time. One's got the miniatures that I'm working on at the moment and I paint a little bit and then move it to the next one. Paint a little bit, move it to the next one. And when I'm not working on this set anymore, you know, I just pick up this whole sheet and go put it on the shelf. That way they're easy to move around, they don't fall over. And sometimes, you know, up here on the top up here, I've got some more metal sheets stuck to my painting racks that, you know, I might put you know, figures up here to get them out of the way so they're not sitting on the tabletop. Um, hmm? And so both Charlotte and I use these when we're painting miniatures. I've got loads of things that I'm working on. I try to have a philosophy of once a miniature goes onto a painting stand, it doesn't come off that stand until it's painted. That sometimes doesn't always work but I do have loads and loads and loads of them, um, probably around 60. So, you know, I could work theoretically on 60 miniatures at a time, but normally, you know, I do small batches of 10 or so. It depends on what I'm painting. Anyway, there we go. There's a very quick video. Yeah, go. Um, so, if you want to paint in certain colours, you just have to put your fingers on the top and then you can put them on there and then paint the miniatures. It's easier. Yeah, because sometimes when you put them on the table here, they can fall over. Yeah, yeah, so that's why we use the steel sheets. And then I just use a little bit of blue tack, you know, got big blobs of blue tack, and you know, just stick them, a bit of blue tack on top of the stand, and then stick the figure on top. And, just uh, like this one. Yeah, exactly. Well, there we go. That's what these little stands are that you see everywhere in my photos. It's just a 30 mil piece of down, cut into nine centimeter sections, with a hole drilled in the bottom, um, and a one centimeter magnet in there. And some sheets. And some sheet steel to keep everything stable and easy to move around. And you can get the remains. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you next time. Bye. See ya.